Hello, Gunner James 105. So I've got three Enfields on the table. I'm out at the home-built range, out at my uh, daughter and son-in-law's place. And uh, been here on a, a babysitting uh, mission with my wife and uh, and I've been, she's been doing most of the babysitting and I've been out here uh, on the range. I had been uh, uh, firing probably about six other rifles that I own all in 22 just to make sure everything was zeroed. So I had a couple of old uh, Kui's and uh, that uh, one was the military trainer and it's confirmed. I, I mean, I, I had already done it and uh, fine-tuned another one that had a, uh, it was a Model 60 that was an uncle of mine. Uh, he had that, that probably goes back to the late 50s, early 60s, that one. So the subject matter today isn't isn't about that. Just kind of giving you an update on how my day's been, what I've been doing, and so just just some easy, relaxed target shooting. And uh, when you're sighting in, you you go at it bit by bit until you've got it just so. I I try to have everything that I was shooting as bang on as I could get it. It's and I, and I used a. a, a, a very solid support, uh, support to do that and then I was shooting offhand just to kind of confirm that it was it was going to work in, in uh, off, of, off of the bench and so what I have here in front of me is another infield back there but we've got a couple of number four this one being a uh, number four mark one star and this one number four mark one period Except that there's no markings on this. There's no, there's no markings, no serial number, or anything on the, uh, on the wrist. So I'm going to give you some close-ups. Thought I'd fire a few rounds first. I've got some, um, kind of a, a swinging steel targets down there, and uh, so I'll fire uh, a few rounds. You can you can watch this thing in action, and. Uh, this, this one here is the one that I had brought back from being sporterized. So I bought this wood, it actually, the wood was shipped from England. And I did a video, one of my earliest videos was the, uh, uh, showing this and, and talking a lot about this rifle here. So you can go back and take a look at that if you like. So this one here is a little different. And uh, the reason is, is that we don't have anything in there. There's it's empty. Um, we have to load it, and we have to load it one at a time with these miniature 303 rounds. And so all morning I was shooting basically at uh, at 50 yards, just because I can't see very well. Uh, even with glasses, 50 yards is is pretty good. I, I could I could go out to 100 yards on open sites. Um, just happen to have the, the table and everything all set here at the 50 yard mark. And so uh, I've loaded this thing, and uh, I'll just take a shot. I don't know if you'll hear the the ding. Well, I, I have to hit the target for it to ding, but there's three horses down over there. They I hadn't been out here for about an hour. I had supper, and the horses uh, they they take off and run in there for a little bit, but then they calm down. So I appear to have missed that one. I shouldn't have. There we go. So it's swinging like crazy. This uh, this is sighted in pretty good. I like I say I was doing this at about 50 yards and I got it eventually into about a, a one inch group at 50 yards so it's it's darn good uh, I'll try uh, there's actually three sizes of uh, little uh, discs out there miss There we go. 
And so, yeah, my uh, my casings just fall fall down into the, the magazine. I'll give you some up close, as I say, some up close views of this and a little bit of history about this rifle. It's it's kind of rare, actually. Ding. And so, yeah, one at a time. This is not like the uh, is it the the British. I don't. I'm not sure if our C7s. I'd have to go back again. But the, uh, the number seven uh, training rifle had a little five-round magazine inside of the magazine. This is this was always a uh, a single shot. So, I'll set that down and grab that camera and then uh, give me some close-ups. Hang tight. <laughs> 